Hi friends! Today is the day that you've been waiting for. It is our day of my favorites from 2019 and all of the daggum stats. All right, y'all, today I'm going to talk you through my stats. I do intend on putting up pictures of my books, much like last year. I really enjoy taking pictures of all of the things and like showing them to you in a physical form. I like showing the pie charts when I get a chance, but I really love doing like the full picture thing. I enjoy that aspect of it and I really enjoyed doing that last year so I plan to do that again this year. I'm gonna walk you through some of the stats and then we'll go over my favorite reads for the year. I'm gonna be reading a lot this time because if anyone can remember all the stats off the top of their head then they're awesome. Stats. I read 83 books this year. That is approximately a book every four and a half days. I read 29,894 pages, which breaks down to about 82 pages a day. And here I'm going to give you a monthly view. And so my highest month was May with 13 books. And my lowest months were, you know, in that July to November area where I was reading one or two books a month, a representation. And as I have said in the past, this is why I don't love to do full on TBRs because I never know what I'm going to read one month to the next. Also if you see any books in the pictures that are turned around and you just see like the this part you don't see an actual spine that is a representation of like an audiobook or an ebook that I read just so you get the full physical effect. Where did I get these books from? So 72 books came from my shelves and 11 were not from my shelves. Breaking those down further, 30 were purchases that I made in 2018, 21 were purchases that I made prior to 2018, 21 were purchases that I made in 2019, and then I read five ARCs, three books that I borrowed from the library, and three books that I downloaded on my e-reader. And here you have the 55 books that I purchased this year because why try not to buy books but I bought 55 books this year. I was separated those by what I have read and what I have not read. So I have read 23 of those which is less than half and I could definitely do better in the future. Format, I have 34 audiobooks, 18 hardcover, 18 paperback, 2 ebooks, 5 arcs, and 6 graphic novels. Let's talk genres. We have 17 fantasy, 7 urban fantasy, 4 high fantasy, lots of fantasy, 9 science fiction, 3 romance, 7 mystery, 3 thriller, 2 classics, 12 paranormal, 3 mythology, and 1 crime novel. My average star rating is a 3.89 and this star rating is going to be a little different than what I have like on Goodreads because I do 0 0.25 and 0 0.75 on Goodreads and in my own stats but the chart that I use only has half stars so. According to that I have read 9 5 star books, 13 4 and a half star books, 37 4 star books, 9 3 and a half star books, 9 3 star books, three two and a half star books, two two star books, and one one star book. This one is a fun one that I really enjoy. This stat is years that these books were published. I like this stat. So I have one book published prior to 1990, one book published in the 90s, two books between 2000 and 2003, two books between 2004 and 2007, 10 books in the 2008 to 2011, 12 from 2012 to 2014, 7 from 2015, 8 from 2016, 4 from 2017, 13 from 2018, and 23 from 2019, which is absolutely amazing. For our age group, there were 9 adult, 64 YA, eight middle grade, one kids book, and one that I consider new adult. 64 YA. No big deal. One of the other stats that I wanted to show is my most read authors of the year. So I read a lot of different authors this year, but some standouts were with three books each, Rachel Hawkins, Casey West, 
Elisabetta Ganon, which is uh, published by Disney and her name's not even on the books, but I know that's who does it. Rick Riordan and Holly Black. And then with four books each, we have Maureen Johnson, Cassandra Clare, and Susan Dennard. No surprises there. My physical to digital ratio was really even this year. It was 41 digital books and 42 physical books. So let's talk my favorite books of the year. I don't have any specifics of why I chose these books. Like there's no like overall arcing like these books are the best books, whatever. I basically just went through, chose everything that had a 4.75 rating or higher. There were 11 of them. I went with it. I have talked about a lot of these at nauseum for the past few videos, the past few months. So if you want to know like full thoughts, I will link all of them in the description box below. My four reviews on Goodreads. So that's there. Because if you have been watching all of these videos for the past however long I've been doing these daily videos, you're probably ready to jump off a cliff. So first is The Wicked King by Holly Black. This is the second book in the Cruel Prince series. This had an epic fucking amazing plot twist at the end of it and I loved it and I was very let down by the last book in the series but this book fucking amazing. The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson. This was the second book in the Truly Devious series. Again, amazing fucking plot twist at the end of this book. This is a YA mystery. I'm rereading the first book in the series this month and next month because I'm doing it for a book club. I've talked about it like 16 times this month already. Super excited for the next book in the series which comes out in January, probably after this video, but super excited for that. Loved this book so good. In a surprise to absolutely no one, Blood Witch by Susan Dennard. This is the third book in the Witchland series. If you've been on this channel as a regular viewer, you know that this is one of my favorite series of all time. I love this series. I love Suze. I love the way that she writes. I, I just fucking love this whole series and the way that everything is crafted together. Again, I talked at nauseum about this in my top 10 authors of the decade video and I will link that in the description box below if you want to hear me talk more about this book because I rave about Susan and her writing for like five minutes. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. This is the first book in the Remnant Chronicles. Again I've been talking about the series a lot lately because I just finished the second book in the series but I feel like this was a much better book. I loved it. I love that there is two main love interests. One wants to marry her, one wants to kill her. We don't know which one's which. It's so great. I absolutely love that aspect of this book. Love this book. Love the series. It's been really great. I haven't finished it yet, but I am loving it. Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassie Clare. This is the third and final book in the Dark Artifices trilogy part of the Shadowhunter Chronicles. Again, I talked about Cassie and my 10 favorite authors of the decade. So if you want to know more about the Shadowhunter Chronicles and why I love these damn books so much, you can check that out. I just have so much love for this book. I do feel like it could have been two books. There's a part in here where it would have been like the best cliffhanger ever, but um, I'm, I'm also glad that she didn't do that to us. So this, this chunky baby I loved every minute of. And if you haven't read this yet and you like audiobooks, the audiobook is narrated by James Marsters and it's fucking awesome. The next is the only graphic novel in this list and that is Zodiac Star Force. Um, and this is by Kevin Panetta and Paulina Gonashow. And this series. There's two books so far. A, the artwork is beautiful. B, the inclusivity. C, just the the plot is amazing. I love these. They are so amazing. So wonderful. I've talked about them several times this year. Just love everything about these graphic novels. Strange and Ever After, another Susan Dennard. This is the third book in the Something Strange and Deadly series. This book was by far my favorite of the series and the one that hurt me the most. It gave me all of the gut-wrenching, cutthroat hurt. It, this one hurt. The series is so good. It's got zombies and voodoo and science and 
so many wonderful things and is just one of the best conclusions to a trilogy that I've ever read. Loved it so damn much. This Heart of Mine by C.C. Hunter. This book I talked about a lot this year as well. It's like part romantic drama, part paranormal mystery. It is so weird and I love that aspect of it and I just I love that it centers around a young girl who has this illness that she knows is gonna make it so that she can't live very long. Um, she may not have the longest life ever and yet she just it's it's so good it's so good the mystery aspect the i just yes to this book if you haven't read it i love the writing style i love this book please read it well met by jen deluca read this it is an adult romance it takes place in a small town that puts on a renaissance festival every year fucking love the Renaissance Festival. I loved this book. The romance was enemies to lovers and it was so gosh darn good and I fucking loved it and there's gonna be a sequel this year and I'm so excited about it. The last two books I don't have physical copies of at this current moment in time but I'm working on it. The first is Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elston. This was my number one five star only five star read of the year. It's a cute fun contemporary. I loaned it to a friend because it was that good. I wanted her to read it as well. It's Christmassy. It just has so many good things in it and it made me laugh and it made me cry and I just fucking loved it. And the final book on the list, which is funny because you would think that I would put like the number, the only five star book as the last one on the list, but no, because I think uh, while that book was great and definitely the highest rated, the one that is sticking most with me at this current moment in time is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. And I, I mean, it got a 4.75 out of five. I mean, come on, it made me cry, it made me weep. The action was amazing. It has so many great fight scenes. It starts off at a fight scene and just is amazing. And I love that book. I love the characters. I love the world building. I love Adrian's writing style. I love the fighting. It's just so many good things in that book. Highly recommend. So those are my 11 favorite books of the year and my stats for the year. Do you have a favorites or a stat video? I would love to check it out. I love those. They're super fun. I love to film them. They're a lot of work, but I love them. I love stats. I have a problem. I'm okay with it. If you have any questions about any of the books that I talked about because I did go over them fairly quickly, again, all of my Goodreads links will be linked below. Or if you want to talk about any of the books that I talked about, hit me up in the comments section because that's why we're here is to discuss books. In case you didn't know, that's a thing. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you don't want to miss anything else I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!